Hello peeps and welcome back to the Age of Engineering. Kind of hanging out here in the mining world. Finally got Industrious purified. Still working on Imperial. Er, uh, yeah, Imperial. Uh, it backslipped a little bit to Majestic. But, um, someone made a comment in my first bee video that they're glad that the bees have been isolated to one episode. It's not just going to be one episode. I am going to have to come back and revisit these little buzzing bastards every once in a while. But I'm trying to do most of the boring shit off camera because, I mean, everyone's seen bees and nobody really likes bees. But they are powerful, so I'm not going to completely ignore them. Anyway, on to what we're going to do this episode. Which is, we're going to continue the build from last episode. And we're going to make our way towards diesel fuel. So, for that, we need the garden cloches, which is these lanterns, which I believe I already made, gray stained glass, treated wood planks, and these farmers, which is what hung us up because we needed the iron casings. Well, I, off camera, have done, whipped up a whole bunch of this shit. I've done some mining, so I've got plenty of copper, plenty of iron. At least to do some basic stuff. So, we're going to get started with two of these. I probably should change this to use the other plates, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. And one, two. And one, two. These. Oh, I need four total. Yeah, see, I'm going to have to change this to use the iron plates. Since I'm using the punch for these now. When I get the ME system, I won't have to worry about this as much, because the ME system respects or dictionary. Unfortunately, this system doesn't. It's another reason why I don't normally use it. <clears throat> but, I mean, it gets the job done in the early game. That was what I really needed. So, farmer. We need this empowered canola and some Minori crystal blocks. Oh, that's all empowered Minori. Holy shit, okay. Uh, so I'm going to need... Enough for eight blocks of an ori. So you. Oops, need one more. There's eight blocks of iron. We'll go zap these over here. There's my Aiden Ori Crystal. Still doing pretty good over here. And let's see, what else did we need? We need to change these iron casings into these farmers. So, an Ori Crystal, Empowered Canola, Advanced Greenhouses, which I already made. So I should have everything I need to make two of these means I should have everything I need to make two of these. I just weren't I made the lanterns. I guess I didn't make the lanterns. Okay, well. Iron plates, glowstone. Oh, I don't have glowstone. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. And yoink. Two garden cloches. All right, awesome. We're going to need some melons. Two of them to start. We're also going to need some dirt. Now, <clears throat> I've seen the garden cloches in use, but I've never actually used them myself. So this is going to be kind of a new one for me, too. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up. Let's see, how do I want to do this? 
Do I want to try having one close power one machine and see how that works? I think that's how I want to try it. So we're going to set the closures up. One is going to go... Is it taller than that? Oh, it is taller than that. Well, shit. Okay, there is a power thing up top there. Let's make sure my mining augment isn't in here. We'll pick that up, and we'll drill into the floor here, and we'll see if we can do it this way. Yeah! Now, this thing does require water. I'm not sure where you have to pump the water in. I do know that you pull out of the front here. I also know that you have to have the right soil in here. And then you have to have the right seed in here. You have to have power. Uh, you can add fertilizer, but you don't need it. But you do need the water. So we'll go ahead and pop this in over... Actually, this is the fermenter, so that uses... This is the squeezer. So this makes the plant oil. Okay, so this is the one that needs the seeds. I'm going to have to craft the seeds, so we're going to want to move this cloche. We're going to want this cloche to be probably right here. This one, we can just put right here. I wish the drill worked on wood as well as it works on everything else. Now. Is that where the water has to go in? I think it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through the back. There we go. And I'm going to need some sort of infinite water source. I'm going to use a reservoir for this. So, I'm going to need some fused quartz. Do I already have some? I do, but not quite enough. I need a little more. So, let's grab... A, let's just go ahead and grab a stack of nether quartz. We'll smelt that up. There we go. And we need some iron. We'll make a cauldron. Where did that cauldron go? Did it not actually craft it? This is another thing that I don't really like about this. It seems like the crafting mechanic fails every once in a while. There. We got four of them. And we're going to need some fluid conduit. We'll grab some ender fluid. Or we'll just grab some pressurized. Pressurized will work here. And I'm going to need some buckets. Damn it, come on. And we'll just drill into the wall here. Stack them up. Two buckets of water in. That provides infinite water. We'll run pressurized fluid conduit. Is that really not going to connect?
It's really not going to connect. Is that on the back? Oh, it's on the back, isn't it? Yep, it's on the back. Okay. That actually makes it a little more convenient, though, for the purpose of hiding it. So I guess I can't be too upset. No. Give it. You, we're going to disable, because I only want one connection for aesthetics. You are going to auto-extract always active. And I need my Yetter wrench. So that I can force this connection. <coughs> okay, that should give me water. That will give me dirt. And that will give me dirt. And this should give me melons. How fast is this actually going to produce? Oh, that's actually pretty fast. And it produces full-grown melons. Nice. Okay. Let's come back in here. Damn it. We'll drill to here. And we'll start replacing some of this. Can you see the bounding box? No. Good. <coughs> Come on. There we go. Okay. Now. Hmm, I wonder, wonder how I have to recharge that fertilizer. Or if I even can recharge the fertilizer. I, see, I don't know anything about these garden cloches, so... <clears throat> I'm kind of in new territory. Anyway, next step. We need to get the melon out of here, and we need to break this down. We need to break this down into regular melons. Which is going to prove to be a problem, I think, because... Well, no, it should be fine. Okay, I am going to need a few machines. So, as far as crafters... I think the Tier 1 crafter from RF Tools is going to be my best option. I have the crafter from Ender.io but they're kind of slow. Mechanical Crafter from Ender Utilities, same thing. The Batch Crafter from IC2, I don't know how fast it is, but it uses EU and getting EU power into a room that's already got RF power. Yeah, pain in the ass. So don't want to try it. The Progressive Automation Crafters, they can get pretty expensive. These crafters just require a machine frame. Now, granted, machine frames are a bitch, but do I even have any? I have one, but I do have two, I do have four machine chassis, so I can make two more. Because this is machine chassis and powered palace, that could be a problem. Yeah, because I only have five there. I have enough to make... Oh, no, I have exactly enough. And some electrical steel. And they need end rods. Which I have exactly enough of those, too. Awesome. I assure you, I did not plan this in advance. I wish I could say I had. 
and I need two buckets of nutrient distillation. And one. And two. And machine frames. Awesome. With the machine frames, we make the crafters. And I'm low on redstone torches, so... We'll just make a bunch of them. Oh, really? There we go. Three tier one crafters. I'm going to need some conduit. I'm going to need some item conduit. That's not going to be enough, so let's go ahead and make another eight. And let's see what we can do to make this work. If I put down a crafter right in front of this, will it auto-pull? It will auto-pull. That's nice. Oh shit, that scared me. Okay, these do require power. The easiest way to do that is probably going to be around the power under the ground. Let's actually get an axe. I'm going to want to get one over here, too. Because right here... You know what? I bet that this is where you pump fertilizer in or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get this crafter, and we'll place him there. Oh, that's not right. We'll place him there, and we'll run the conduit uh, I don't want that there. I want to run that down. So I'm going to try to hide the conduit as best I can. <clears throat> there. Now, we've got that. And I'm trapped. Easy enough to fix. I'll repair all the damage that I'm doing later. Okay. This crafter has an easy job. It only needs to make... Uh... <clears throat> Let's see, how the hell does this work? Oh. Let's see. Open manual. Hmm. The list at the top left allows you to select all the supported recipes. If you select a recipe, you can edit it in the right grid by dragging over the right items. And it's just melon... Wait, how... You actually have to break the melons? You can't just craft the melons? Dick! So I'm going to need a mechanical breaker.
I'm going to need a mechanical user. Okay, this just changed my build substantially. It's also making me wonder if I really want to use melons. Because sugarcane and industrial hemp would probably be easier to use. Okay, what's the recipe for a mechanical user? That's not too bad. Um, an auto breaker from actually additions might be a better idea. So I'm going to need a placer too. Yeah, let's try this. Let's, let's try this. So let's get an auto placer. Which means I need a basic coil. I'm actually going to need two of these, so let's go ahead and craft two. I'm out of... Ah, uh, whatever. Not sure where I'm running to. Yoink. 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 Okay, two coils. Auto placer. Auto breaker. I have a void crystal. Because I found a void crystal somewhere in a uh, treasure chest. You bastard. Leave my door alone. Oh, shit. They're actually serious about it this time. Not even sure why I still have this stupid door here. So I can just fly over it now. Probably should just get rid of the damn door. Okay, this is going to change the build substantially, so there's no point in having them over here like this. Let's pick up the cloches. Let's get this fluid conduit out of the way here. And let's move this cloche. We're going to move them over to here. Uh, yeah. Fluid conduit, please. Uh, yet a wrench. To connect... Actually... No, I want this to come out here. Because we're going to do these two right next to each other. Garden cloches. Dirt. Melon seed. Dirt, melon seed. We'll fill in the stone brick behind it. Fill in the stone brick there. And we can fill in the floor under here.
and there. Now, we'll pull the melons out. And we'll place them into the auto placer. Why you no work? Redstone mode deactivation. Why you no work? Does it have to pull into it? Does it have to pull directly into, into an inventory? Because that's a pain in the dick. Shit. Okay, yeah, it has to pull into an inventory. That's a pain in the ass. Okay, well, whatever. Well, no. We'll work around it. Uh, item conduits. To auto placer. Active without signal. Oh, shit. <clears throat> you know, I never... I didn't have this set to input mode. So, let's tear this out. And try this like this. We'll put that into insert mode. We'll change these to active without signal. Are you working now? No, you're still not working. So apparently it does have to have an intermediate inventory. It's a lot of frickin' melons. Okay, now we're working. Now we're cooking with gas. Auto breaker. Not sure how I feel about that. It works nice and fast. I'm just not sure how I feel about the configuration. I'm also not sure how I feel about the fact that it stopped working. Why did it stop working? Oh, it needs power, doesn't it? It got power from my battery. Okay, okay, we can make this work. We can make this work. Um... I'm going to want the auto placer or the auto breaker to sit right here. No, not like that. Like that. We'll dig under. We'll do conduit. Like that. Bore through the wall. And conduit. Why you no work? Why did you work to start? And now you don't work.
Now it works again. Why? Okay, anyway, regardless, that why isn't important. We're going to run an item conduit. This we're going to disable. We're going to run this back here. Actually, no. Break this. Break this. Break this. Break this. We're going to go one connection here. Then we're also going to... We're going to place this auto crafter right here. And we're going to get out. Place the torch. <clears throat> and we are going to set this to round robin. You insert. You insert. You are now going to get the recipe melon. Melon seeds. You are going to craft melon seeds for me. You now have access to power. And you are now active without signal. So you are now getting melons. And you're producing ethanol. Once I connect... Once I connect my item conduit no don't want that why is it slowing down oh I bet I know why I bet I know why Insert on you. Damn it. Extract on you, active without signal. Why the hell is it slowing down? Oh, it's out of melons, that's why. So I'm not sure if this is going to keep up, but it is producing a rather absurd amount of melons and melon seeds. And I'm producing a rather absurd amount of ethanol now. So, next we need the refinery. Let's clean up my inventory a little bit. We're going to need these fluid conduits, so I'm going to hold on to them. And I'm probably going to need the energy conduit. So let's get our... Let's get our engineer's hammer and our engineer's manual. <clears throat> oh, come on. Give me that. Give me that. Thank you. Heavy machinery. Refinery. Okay. This takes eight steel scaffolding. Of which I have four, so... I'm going to need some more steel rod.
There we go. Six steel rods to make some more scaffolding. You're kidding me. Use what's available, damn it. Okay, I needed some iron sheet metal, right? I need a redstone engineering block. I need some of that fluid pipe. I'm going to need one more than that. So we'll go ahead and crap... Son of a bitch. I really, really need to get my hands on an AE system. Because this is driving me insane. Iron sheet metal. I think it said I needed like 16 of that. Yep. I need two light, two heavy engineering blocks, and then we're ready to go. Whoops. Okay, I've got two light. <clears throat> I've got one heavy. What did the heavy engineering blocks take? Steel mechanicals, pistons, and solarium. Okay, not too bad. Need one piston. There we go. We've got everything we need for the refinery. Let's see if we can get the refinery crafted and get it producing diesel this episode before I have to quit. Okay. I kind of want to center this between the two. So let's take a look at the engineering handbook and see what kind of profile we're looking at. It's five by three. Okay, so there is no centering it. Not the way I have this room laid out. Yeah, the way I have this room laid out, there's no centering it. So we're going to have to pick one side or another favor. Um... Let's favor towards that side. So. Fluid pipe. Went down. One, two, three, four, five. And then it was steel scaffolding all along the bottom, right? No, steel scaffolding and a heavy and a light. So, steel scaffolding here, 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 there, 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 there. A light block there. I think it's going to take another light block there. There's a heavy block there and a heavy block there. Yep. <clears throat> Okay, so, redstone block there, sheet metal, and if I did this right, refinery, nice. Okay, now the only thing left to do is to connect like that. This should not be connecting. Because those aren't valid inputs. We'll extract there. And insert there. I should be getting ethanol. Good. Extract there. Insert there. That's going to give me my plant oil. Good. I need RF power into this thing. 
which I believe has to be put in through... Let's see. Yep, right there. Damn it. Oh, I'm one short. Are you kidding me? And bam. I don't like how that looks, so I'm going to disconnect that connection with the Yetta wrench. But this should now be producing diesel for me. And it is. We're getting biodiesel. Nice. Very nice. We're producing a rather ridiculous amount of biodiesel, too. Like, I was worried that this thing was going to have trouble keeping up, but I seem to have an excess. Like, I might eventually want to expand this to have two fermenters and two squeezers. I don't know. Alright, but, yeah, we're producing biodiesel, and lots of it. Holy shit. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to be able to produce that much that fast. Well, next episode, we'll get into using it. But for right now, this has been Night Dagger with Age of Engineering. Um, like I said, next episode, we'll get into the diesel engines, which will allow us to actually use the diesel for stuff and things. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Ugh. We'll be able to use the biodiesel to produce lots of power, which we will then use for various things. But, for right now, hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, if you like the video, make sure you like the video, and next time we'll build some more crazy stuff. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll catch you later, peeps.